Hello everybody, welcome to the set. No, I've just changed the shape of the donuts. <laughs> changed them into squares instead of uh, donuts. Anyway, that's why. Anyway, hello, welcome everybody. We're taking a look at FRMS frames. We're taking a look at frames from Imaginando, which has just had a new uh, expansion library added called Antique Shop, where they went into an actual antique shop, spent a couple of days there sampling all this cool stuff. So. So we're gonna we'll go through all the sounds in there and the, everything you just heard there, apart from uh, these drums here, which I made for part of a Patreon pack. Uh, all this, the rest of it, all the rest of this stuff is um, is this pack, and we've got another one set up as well, which we'll jump over to shortly. And if you like, I can show you how I set up the instead of having the donuts to be more traditionally oblong like that so you can pretty much customize loopy anyway so this is called a major crackling and with most of the sounds for frames you you need to kind of listen because they'll evolve because they're samples, of course, they will slow down at the lower you go and sound great. This is called a minor crackling, which would have fitted in better with the, the thing that I just did, which was all in A minor, basically. So I should also say that uh, on the drums. Hang on a sec, just let's have the drums. I also have the new Magic Verb from uh, DDMF, which is uh, just lovely if you want a, just a great sounding reverb. Yeah. Anyway, back to frames. Hope you were all well as well. Hi, Lee. I'll say hello to everyone who's here as well. So, hello, Stephen. Hi, Stephen. Hi, Hubert. Hi, GB Craw. Hi, Lee. Um, hello, Joe. Hi, Hort. Uh, Cindy. Uh, Paul. Joe is in here somewhere, I think. Hi, Joe! Wigglehead. Anyone else who may be watching? So, what's nice is don't go nuts with these sounds. That's the, that's the crap. Michael. Hi, Michael. David. Hi, David. <laughs> don't go nuts with these sounds because... They meant to evolve and they're for kind of textural and landscape. Hi, Sam. Textural and landscaping. This is good. Excellent. Don't go nuts with donuts neither. As Colin so rightly pointed out.
very nice. So this is called Anvil Bass. Enjoyed your video, Jamie, on um, Magic Verb. So much so that I added it to this this drum pattern just before I started the stream. So I thought it was a really, really good. Much there, isn't it? But yeah, awesome stuff. Um, so I'm going to record some more in here. So. Anvil bass, Arctic keys. Oh, and since Vortex is here, I will also say that we will be taking a look at the new completely 100% free awesome effects pack from mobile music pro sometime over the weekend i hope i have a few things to do but it's 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 epic stuff for made in, in collaboration with me and mobile music pro and it's completely free and it's, it's, i think there's over 200 uh, 200 effects in there So that's uh, Arctic Keys, Autumn Sunset. well oh you see see this 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 kind of sound R brilliant right so let's just switch off all these I'm gonna engage my metronome here so I'll just let it count round and I'm just gonna record this sound right so This is why Loopy Pro is, is brilliant because you can just get my ideas down straight away. You don't have to think about anything else. It's awesome. Right, so I'm going to play this again. So that's a perfect kind of. Let's turn the metronome off. Perfect kind of low fibey vibe thing. And it's on the red channel here. Would sound nice with maybe we'll put some uh, we'll put some more of the magic verb on there shall we since magic verb is uh, is new so um let me find it there we go i'm gonna put the deep lush plate on and have lots of <laughs> lots of rainbow on it, lots of length. 
more wet. Yeah, but I can take this and put this in AUM as well. So listen, okay, so that was, uh, I think I filled up all my slots that I had, so I'd have to add some more, so okay. <clears throat> Let's see, maybe we'll do that. Maybe we'll just open another project, Dave. So, belly bells. Um, so I need to make sure I'm still in antique shop, belly bells. Hi, Tommy. I hope you're listening through headphones, gang. That is lovely. So just let's before we carry on, let's let's just add some more, just in case. And I'll add some. I'll add some here. So we want to be going into edit here, ding, and I'm just going to add a whole new section here. And I need to add two of them because I'm using two squares for this. So I'm going to add another donut. Okay, and I'm going to add another donut, another donut. And I'm going to tap on this donut here. Oops, no, I'm not. I'm going to close it. I'm going to hold the donut. And you'll see it will turn into this. And then I can stretch it out. I'm going to do the same with this. And basically now I'll just turn my donuts into oblongs so it is exactly the same thing although we can set anything up to do anything trigger wise in loopy pro so also as as well i think the color needs to be uh different so we've got some blues and things and we've got some i'm just going to add another color this this one here and i'm going to change that color so we've got another uh, another mixer slot so that's done we can just go back to our thing now we've got these and we've got another mixer slot here which is this orange, uh, which is completely different than all the other colours. We can add as many colours as we like. We'll mix the destinations if you like, so, you know. So just in case we find something else, because that was, that was really quite nice. So if I just, for this one, say for instance, we just have the drums going. I'll set this off to record in this centre one, just for fun. Okay, hi John, here we go, so. Yeah, awesome, great sound, fabulous. Okay, so let's see you now. So we've got this one broken droid. Wow. There's a great video of them going around this uh, antique shop sampling all this stuff. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
there is a, a tutorial coming soon, guys. <laughs> Another one. I have done a big tutorial for frames ages and ages ago. But I explained how it all worked. But since this is really, we're pushing the new uh, antique shop pack. So, broken memories. First thing to do with all of these patches is play one note and let it sustain. Just to see what's going on. Hi, Wall. Bent keys, bent keys, smoke rising. Ceremonial brass synth. to my microphone in time sorry so we've got this one's called chained bassoon oh I like that That's very cool. That's very cool. So I think, I think, um, we'll push this into this as well. So this is called Decoding AI. Oh, these sounds are so good. I've a, 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 de a desire to slap them all in. <laughs> I better save me project, but now just in case I was saved. What's cool about, by the way, as well also, what's cool about Loopy Pro is I could go back now to a saved project that I did. Look, today at, at 12 minutes past eight or even today at 125 when I started setting this project up, I could go back to what that project then, and that's all it was. So when I first set this up this morning, this was my project, this. So now I can open up my projects here and go to, where is it? It's frame. Um, 
to the uh the, the save points here and go to, to tonight's save point which was the last save load save point and there's our project and that's genius that's absolutely brilliant because it allows you to go back to any point in your workflow at any time that's brilliant that is that's really clever stuff so here's our project as it stands now here's another brilliant sound called decoding ai it is really good isn't it david this deedon the textures the sounds the depth absolutely david i agree they they're very cinematic aren't they land them lend themselves land themselves lend themselves do you know i'm doing this i don't know if you, some of you know uh, I, we started work on this Nano Studio project the other day, this classical one. Well, cinematic orchestral, which gives me the excuse of being able to use synths and stuff. And, you know, we, we started off this, we ended that stream with me going up to, I think it was 130 BPM for the second section. When I do the second section, I might use some of this stuff. There's so much going on. And of course, you know, we have, like, with frames, we have a full synth engine that we can play with here. So we've got, at the moment, we're on Oscillator 1, I think, which is a... which is an Oscillator engine by the looks of it. Switch it off. sure I'm in my antique shop so let's see where we're at some of them sounds might have been in something else ah, right 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 change pursuing no decode night dirty jet <laughs>
this is called Doomsday Clock. Don't forget, you got After Touch as well. going on with that sound actually so. so if I turn off the oscillator engines well this must be passing through something somewhere Sounds lend themselves to spooky cinematic horror kind of thing or sci fi. <laughs> is the IAP I th do you know what I don't know I think it's um maybe we can find out should we, should we have a look store store antique shop let's see if it comes up I don't think it will because um I've got it I think it's I think it's 499 or something like that I'm not really sure you know they sent me the codes obviously but thanks Kenny I think it's 499 I like this this sounds really cool. So maybe for the very last one.
some really cool beans. Right, so let's see what else we've got in the pack. Uh, so this was, I like that sound. It doesn't sound anything like a clap, but what I really like is this delay they've got on it. That's brilliant. Yes, save, I will save again. But I've got my save points, it's brilliant. But yeah, so FM Law. FM Rain. That's very cool. I have a massive temptation to start adding more things, but I won't. What I will do is I've just saved that. So projects, frames two. Here's another one. So this one is set up more traditional loopy. And we have this going on. So what I'm going to do is add a audio unit input, which will be frames. So there it is. <coughs> and then I'm going to add in my uh, MIDI, which is a uh, key step. Ding. There we go. And then I'm going to expand the mixer and tap on uh, destinations and choose frames and now i have um thinking now i think i'm pretty sure i'm on four bar loop for this um and i will what I'll, I'll do also is take out the monitor well I'll, I'll just remove all the destinations from my microphone otherwise i'll be recording my mic noise in as well if i choose to record a, a sound in so so let's open this up go to our pack which is called antique shop and pretty much go to kind of where we were so I think we were on FM rain <laughs> And don't forget, you can change the shape of these if you want to, like I showed you in the other one. So. Very fine. Well, that's nice. can yes you can also record your you can also sample into into uh, frames yes well bring your own samples in of course and that's cool Okay, this is another Patreon loop.
Bells. I love this kind of symbol and Santori type of... This is a cool sound, Haunted Church. That's a great sound, I like that sound. So we'll add a bit of that, shall we? I haven't could maybe I should go from some of the, the woody friendly ghosts but maybe I should start from a few of the bottom now and rush through them quickly but so you get I get very inspired oh that's cool I get very inspired really quick like Thank you. 
yeah so let's save this i think what i'm going to do is go back to my last session guys thank you so much for joining me we we'll quickly very quickly just blast through you a few others with while you're saying ta -da. and uh hopefully i'll be back to see you tomorrow with something else oh I, I know what i'm doing tomorrow something else yes yes something cool i uh, hope you can join me thank you very very much and bless you all uh, if you haven't already subscribed please subscribe please consider becoming a patreon i help support what me and joe do here at sound test room is very much appreciated and uh yeah i'll see you all later thank you very much frms of frames and the new antique shop sound pack which is just epic stuff it sounds great as you would expect though. awesome i'll just mute the microphone Okay, so let's uh, play out with a bit of this. I'll mute that again.